Tammy Bruce is in focus now. She's a Fox News contributor and the host of Get Tammy Bruce on Fox Nation. I yes, emphasized, Sandra. Tammy, that the, uh, his blood alcohol content, um, that was measured two hours That's after right. that crash took place. So I was speaking to Jonas Billboard yesterday who highlighted the fact that it could have been much different had it been taken immediately. Correct. And you have the right to refuse to allow that to be taken, and he did. So throughout this process, I, you know, in California law, if there's a DUI and there's injuries that result, that can be charged as a felony. Most of the time it is, uh, but if it's considered a wobbler for some reason, you can charge it as a misdemeanor. That's been a, a pretty big scandal in California that he was charged with a misdemeanor because of the injuries. The other driver, uh, it does claim injuries. You saw the pictures of him, he was injured. Uh, and then he not only refused uh, on site for the blood, allowing that to go on, you know, the longer you wait, the less that they'll be in, as you've noted, Sandra. But he also then, as you heard, tried to tell the officer, well, I'm a high-profile person, mm -hmm. interfering that way. He handed them his, uh, his uh, it was like, a, it's a charity card saying that you're a donor to the California Highway Patrol. That could be considered an attempt to interfere. With all of that, if, if there was not a two-tier system of justice, mm. uh, we, the, either one of us would be sitting in a dungeon somewhere. Uh, but it's a remarkable thing that this is what the American people see, regardless of the fact that this could have ended up with uh, both individuals deceased. It would seem to be a horrible accident. You saw the, the photograph of his $100,000 Porsche. It, was, it looked uh, destroyed. Uh, and so you, you're thinking about just the luck. And the police officer said, you're lucky you're not dead. Yeah. And so this is what Americans, I think, get upset about. Uh, it's blatant. There is a different standard. And Americans, of course, are tired of that. Look, anybody should get upset anytime we see that somebody's driving under the influence, uh, you know, beyond ability to control a car to avoid injuring anyone else on the road. And still, the Napa County District Attorney is again defending not charging Pelosi with a felony. Listen to this. When we evaluated the nature of our survivors' injuries and so forth, in keeping with how we handle every other case, the charging decision was made as a misdemeanor. His injuries were there and certainly a result of the um, crash, but not the kind of injuries that we see in a felony case like lacerated livers or disfiguring lacerations or broken bones. Because bottom line, Tammy, people see this story and they have since the beginning and they just want to know, did he get off easy or was he treated right. like anyone else in this situation? Well, I think when you look at the collective issues here, uh, his refusal to cooperate with the blood test. Uh, the attempts to interfere or to influence while he's there, believing that his position will help him. Uh, and there you heard her confirm that there's injuries on both sides. Uh, and now it's about, you know, parsing how bad the injuries are. That, again, is r really a miracle. When he's 82 years old, uh, now the other driver may have uh, been able to have survived, but maybe what if he didn't? You know, this is a remarkable choice for a man worth over a hundred million dollars and you can actually hire someone to drive you if you yeah. know a couple of drinks are going to get you uh, smashed and he's, he chose not to and he's completely uh, has the has the right to drive himself but but many wondering with that kind of wealth not why drunk. you would even take that risk not drunk. Uh, to himself or to anyone else meanwhile yeah. tammy hillary clinton is out with a trailer for her new tv series Gutsy, celebrating bravery in women. Her and her daughter, Chelsea, travel across the country to meet and learn from other influential women. Clinton herself, in a short clip, sharing her most daring choices in life. Watch. You have a marriage that has been on public display mm. since the beginning. You said the gutsiest thing you ever did was stay in your marriage. That doesn't mean that's right for everybody. This, of course, in reference to the 90s sex scandal involving her husband, then President Bill Clinton, and White House intern Monica Lewinsky. Wow. Gutsy. Yeah. yeah, I think that this is really, I think, important because we're looking at the absurdity here. Uh, gutsy about, you know, not divorcing your husband because she made a, 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 a basis, a, a decision on what it was she wanted in the future, believing perhaps she needed him to become the first woman president. But you know what's really gutsy is when you have two children and you don't know where you're going to get baby formula. Mm. What's really gutsy is when you have to decide if there's going to be protein on your children's plate or if you are going to put $10 worth of gas in your car because you can't really afford both. 
gutsy is making sure you take care of your children, knowing that gas prices, that heating oil prices are mm. going to be going up even more for the winter. That's gutsy. To that point. Not being a privileged woman talking about whether or not she stayed in her marriage. That's insulting to, to everyone. To that point, it's a bunch of wealthy women sitting yeah. around. From what I can see so far, celebrities um, not talking about those who are working two jobs to pay for inflation. Tammy, great to have you here today. Thank you very much. Hey, it's Will Kane. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News channel on YouTube. It's the best way to get our latest interviews and highlights. And click to subscribe to the Will Kane podcast for full episodes right now.